Using Architracer tool, we will see how to generate unit test cases using Google Test Framework and to generate the test coverage report. So this is a sample code that we are going to use. So this is a CMake build system. So let me go ahead and open a command prompt. To enable the Architracer tool, you need to prefix architracer to the cmake uh, build command. So that tool has been enabled. Now let's go ahead and uh, build the project with the make command. Now you can see that it has instrumented this file. Now let's uh, run rk unit command. This command is going to analyze the source files that has been instrumented and uh, generates the user interface or invokes the user interface to generate the unit test cases. So on the left hand side you see the project tree structure and number of source files if I have multiple source files here and these are the list of functions under this file. And on the right hand side, we can select the framework for which you want to generate the unit test cases, be it Unity or a Google test. So let me go ahead and select this function. On right hand side, we can see that uh, the template has been generated here. Or we can also say that the unit test with the default values has been generated. So this is the function and this is the options that has been provided by Architracer. So this for this input values, so we can go ahead and uh, input the value, maybe three. And uh, here, let's go ahead and input the value four. So three, four. So what is the expected results is seven. And uh, these are the post checks. If you want to additionally post check the conditions or uh, let me go ahead and remove this. Now, once I save this, or before that you can also so you can also go ahead and add your requirement data for this test case and just save this one so once you save this you're going to see two additional options uh, just uh, this option is to see like the unit test uh, that has been generated by the architracer uh, using Google test framework so you can see that this is the requirement that we added and at the uh, above the test case you can also see that it has also added the requirement in the comments so this is the overall code that has been generated by the architracer so in case if you want to edit you can go ahead and edit for example if you want to change it to 4 4 4 well, let's make it as no or let's say like 6 and let's make this one as 10 expected value so if i go ahead and save it so this for this we are going to run the unit test and we are going to assert and we are going to check this so let me go ahead and do this click on this to disable that option and let me go ahead and add one more function so this is the post checks like what we discussed earlier so this is the input 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 So intentionally, I will add a space here. So it should be unit test without the space. Now, let me go ahead and save this. So here also you'll get two options. Click here. And this is a new test case that was generated. You can see that unit unit and this is expected. So this was the earlier test case. Minimize. If you want to edit, you can go ahead and edit here. If you want to parameterize the test, you can go ahead and click on this. If you want to click the check the uh, any global variables added to the project you can go ahead and do that uh, you can go ahead and add it and if you want to disable you can go ahead and do it minimize if you have multiple test cases or if you want to delete the test case you can go ahead and do it uh, by selecting this option let me add one more uh, test case for this function so i'll remove this post checks let depending on the return type you're going to get 
uh, the post checks or like uh, asset values here so let me go ahead and save it and then once it is saved let's go ahead and minimize so now we need to go ahead and clean the project and uh, when we run the make command once again or build command so automatically the Arcade tracer tool will add um, the unit test file that was generated for this demo.cpp so if the source file is demo.cpp and uh, the corresponding demo underscore rkunit.cpp file will be generated for the test case and it will be in the same project structure uh, under the arcade test here uh, test suite and the based on the project structure you should be able to see this now since we have this let's go ahead and uh, run the test okay now you can see that this test was expected to fail so it has failed other has been passed here so let's go ahead and run the rk unit results command to generate the test coverage report so this is the overall code coverage that we see on the screen for this function we uh, we have generated test case for this add um, add string not for multiple and uh, for this last function <coughs> and then what uh, for example let's say like if i go ahead and select this test case now you can see that uh, this was expected and we got the expected uh, this was expected this is the actual value as a return or um, return type or assert value um, then you can see that this test case has been succeeded and let's go ahead and okay so this test case has failed expected was unit space testing and actually is unit testing so this failed and the test case has failed and you can also go ahead and add the label here this is the overall code coverage for this function that you see over here and if i click on this we'll get the code coverage only for this function what is the code coverage and if i just go ahead and click on this um, if you want to have a quick access uh, to the uh, the test uh, case you can go ahead and check this here but you cannot edit anything here only in the RK unit with this option you'll be able to edit we go ahead and minimize so if I click on the last option you should be able to see the requirement here if you add anything for example if I click on this you can see that I did add the requirement so requirement will get displayed here label expected actual and um, result so this is how we can make use of RK tracer and generate the uh, test cover uh, unit test cases and run it and generate test coverage report